Hey everyone, this is Austin Joe 18. I know that was a little bit loud, but what's good? Welcome to another gym leader challenge. And today we are taking on, I was about to say the water gym leader because of his name, Kyogre Kawaii. But no, he is the ground gym leader. And today we're going to take him on. Can we do it? Can we get three consecutive wins in a row? But then again, this is double battle. So I really want to change it. I don't even know. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what, what music I love? I love Yo, yo, where is it at? Marnie 2. Yep. All right, let's 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 begin this. I am super excited for Nix's team. I'm a little bit afraid of what he has to offer because he, his team, look, I knew the Flygon was going to be there, so that's why I have the Choice Carve. Well, even then, I don't even know if the Choice Carve would even be able to do the power that I need. <sighs> okay. So by the looks of it, I'm definitely going to set up my own rocks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I had a, I, I kind of had a battling strategy going up against my boy here, but I, okay. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take out Discord for a second because Discord's being kind of annoying to my hair, to my ears. So, all right. So, by the looks of it, I have a chance of winning this team. I have a chance, but at the same time, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with these two and see where this can get me. Now, I thought about having Presidio up on front, even though it might be a little bit of a risk, is because of Stealth Rock. I feel like Stealth Rock this time around might actually be of in my own benefit, because I don't know if he has Air Balloon or anything. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have the Gastrodon, because he did bring it on previous Gym Leader challenges, and holy crap, I predicted that. Oh, I hope, I hope my boy goes for... Please don't go for Gudra. Please don't go for Gudra. I will. Please. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and. <sighs> Stealth Rock. Is this Stealth Rock really worth it? Stealth Rock is worth it, to be honest, but I gotta go ahead and break swipe and lower both of their attacks as much as possible. Yeah, I gotta do that. I, I got. I got nothing much to say. I mean, honestly, I could go ahead and try to go for Flygon, but I think that'd be the obvious choice. Uh, I, I hope... Yes! Oh! Oh! Can I survive it, though? Can I survive it, though? That's the question. Can I survive this? Oh, I kind of survived. Oh, I wish I went for the Draco Meteor. Oh, this is going to bite me hard in the butt. So I'm going to go ahead and break swipe. Both of them. Oh, can I co uh, Oko? Can I Oko? Can I Oko? Oh, Break Swipe is so crucial here. Ice Punch on the Gudra. Oh, I think that Ice Punch caused me to survive this battle. Yikes. Muddy Water, can it hit both? Can it hit both? Muddy Water. Oh, it doesn't do the job, unfortunately. So, by the looks of it, honestly, I think... I think this is the end of Gudra. I mean, I think this is the end of Pricedio. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep Gudra around a little bit longer because even though all the attacks might be targeted towards me, you know what? If I could survive this, if I could survive this and get the Stealth Rock up, I'll do it. I'll do it. Because once that happens, everything is just practically fodder. So I'm gonna go ahead and protect. I'm gonna go ahead and protect. So slimy, protect, and I gotta hope that no one kills me off. Oh, and it did not miss. Dang, 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 dang. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. Uh, I don't know what the Flygon is. He could be physical too. Ooh, okay, so. I'm doing an alright job right now, so technically that Flygon, oh dang, I really wish I did go for the Stealth Rock, but then again, ah oh, dang, okay. So in terms of right now, I feel like, hmm, I think Time Mod is literally my best bet here, Time Mod is my best bet. So I'm gonna go again, go again for... Because I got to get rid of Flygon. I, I I know Slimy might come in clutch, but I got to go and kill off the Flygon. I'm sorry. F 
Flygon is too much of a problem right now. Even though it seems like he's not, it's still. I gotta go for the spatial range and just hope, hope it could do monstrous damage right now. Ooh, double, double on, double on. Ooh, oh, and that sentry is gonna keep it living right now. Oh, it's kind of scary right now. Vicious rend, go, go. Oh, did I one shot it? Did I one shot the hip out? Oh, yes, I one shot it. E yikes. So that flygon is definitely gonna be a problem right now. Yep. Okay. That was to expect. That's that was to be expected. That he was gonna die off. Oh, and he still does not not die off. Tiamat. The water god. Yikes. While he still has it going, I still can't bring my boy free right now. That's the thing. Hmm. Let's see. Out of all my bo I don't have anyone with priority right now. Who does he have? Does he have any grass type? Oh, wait, but if he does... I gotta go for it. I gotta go for Yulong. Yulong? I, this might be bad plays, but I forgot what his team can have. He has Flygon. Now, he has an option. He has an option to decide whether he wants to go ahead. I think this thing is Choice Scarf, though. I honestly believe this thing is Choice Scarf. And if that's the case, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Grab Apple. And hopefully that's enough to take this guy down for the count. And it is. Oh, I knew it. Ah, oh, dang. I I'm dead. Mmm! That time out is dead. Time out is dead. Can I can I outspeed it? Can I outspeed uh Tiamat Tiamat was really crucial for this team. Oh can I survive it? Can I survive it? Oh mm, Can I survive it? I gotta take down the flygon. I gotta take down the flygon. I gotta take out the flygon. I gotta take out the the flygon. It was so crucial. Take on the flygon. Take on the flygon. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yes, okay. That was so, uh, so bad. I, I can't. This is scary, guys. You guys don't know. This is this is really scary. It's coming down to the very last wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Diane. Diane is literally all I have left. Diane is pr practically my weapon for this team. Oh, Rhyperior. Okay. Here we go. Here goes nothing. I mean, te ugh, shoot, I got nothing. Okay, actually, for this Karinagrius, I, I might have something. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for that. And then I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for the Karinagrius, if both of them go for it. I'm gonna 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 split my damage because what if he does actually protect? Then Rhyperior seems like a Pokemon that would have protect, to be honest. I, I don't know. I can't risk it if I attack both and don't do any damage to both sides. After all, I only have one Pokemon left after this, and it's my normal, and ooh, I, I gotta diversify. I gotta diversify. Who is he gonna Gigantamax? Who's gonna drag out Max? It's the right period, isn't he? Dang. Dang. Dang, dang. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. I knew it. Oh, that is gonna be very terrifying. He could go for the Max Quake and might Oko me one shot. I don't know. He might be able to one shot me right here. Oh. Ooh, I knew it. Ooh. 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 Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dang. Now that was something. That was something. All right. I know. Oh. You know, you know, remember last episode when he I was finding his rival, uh, the Shady Pass? I said this was going to be very problematic. What do you know? But here, I brought my secret weapon. I hope, hopefully, this guy is the slowest team that I think he is. I'm gonna see and check his summary real quick. What is he slow? He's 62. He's the slowest Pokemon right that I have. So if I have a chance, it's with him. So 
he, he might actually kill me off, so I don't know what might happen here. I, I don't know what might happen here. I don't know what might happen. I honestly could bring- I don't have Cloud9, though. I'm gonna have to diversify the, the damage. I have to. Ooh! I have to kill off the Cuffer Grigas. Ooh, yo, yo, this is gonna be kind of scary, to be honest. To be honest. Ooh. I see why he did that, though. Wait, he doesn't have Earthquake? Huh. Okay. Okay, that's kind of odd. That's kind of odd. I, I gotta raise my defenses. Now I'm, I'm taking a hit. Now I'm taking a hit. Hopefully. 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 Ooh, yo. He could go for max guard. Honestly, he could go for max guard. He could go for max guard here. Alright, here's my last two Pokemon. Honestly, honestly, this might be... This might be the end for your boy. Who is his last Pokemon? I forget. Oh, it's Excadrill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. He could go for Max Guard. And he could think I could kill him off. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I will try and kill him off from here. Can he? If he protects, if I, I'm gambling here that he goes max guard. Oh, never mind. Oh, shoot. Oh, he one shot me. Dang, that cost me. That That is actually kind of scary. All right, I think that is GG. Honestly, GG's my dude. Oh, dang. That was really actually terrifying, to be honest. I, I didn't even know what to do. Nightshade, it doesn't affect me. I go for energy ball and let's go I can't do anything that's it all right GG's I got nothing much left to do I I can't do anything uh what could have I done better honestly I I, I have no clue what I could do even if the citrus berry does play off right now trick room will be resetted actually can I go for the protect I I'm just gonna go for it <laughs> because I think he's slower than me I'm gonna go for the protect screw it screw it screw it I'm trying to stall out the trick room let's see it let's see if I could take one Pokemon down with me nah bro nah bro can I get the ooh ooh mmm I mean I really don't got a shot here I don't. I can't take down the. I can't. There's, there's no, there's no way unless I go for the Rhyperior. All right, let's go. Let's go for it. I'm taking one down with me. Dang. Hmm. All right. I. It was a three. I got three owed. Oh well. I. I think I did an all right job. All right, Nick. G G, my boy. Honestly, I don't know what I could have done better. I honestly don't know what I could have done better. I I think he uh, he did he did a perfect job though. For perfect battles, I, I I don't know. He did he did a good job. Good battle, Nick. That drops me down one loss against the ground gym leader. Now I need to go ahead and battle whoever's up next. So with that being said, I'm gonna go into a brief kind of like a little conversation through Discord and see what's up. So. Yeah, let me know what, what what you thought, what I could have done better. Because me, honestly, I don't know what I could have done better, to be honest. It was utter destruction here. It was utter destruction. Perfect game. Good game, my boy. Um, I'm still learning to battle double battles, and I'm learning new strats every single time. Woo! All right. So I'll see you guys in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Kyogre Kawaii. Wait, is it Kawaii? Kawaii, there you go, there you go. Hey, buddy. Dude, GG, buddy. Dude, you got me scared, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, I I was, the, it started off, I was a little bit on the back foot. Mm -hmm. That was, uh, that, using the Komo'o to lower my attack and, like, the muddy water and got the accuracy drop. And 
it was really it was really a unique strategy and i wasn't i wasn't uh -huh. expecting it i had no idea what kumo was going to go for but that attack drop ended up i think saving uh gudra um gudra from getting a low code so it was a cool really cool strategy <laughs> and yeah was uh was your dracovish choice scarf yep or, or... <laughs> Okay, I thought so, and I actually just think really quick. I didn't put a lot of team building, uh, but I did the one thing I did did decide to do is I was like uh -huh. a dragon type. If I can have a if I can have Flygon be choice scarfed also, which it was, and just be faster than all of your uh -huh. dragon types, I felt like that would be really helpful. And it ended up being, I think, what definitely made the match for mm -hmm. me because being able to get rid of Jarrell, uh, get rid of um, Dracovish was what allowed me to kind of bring everyone the, else. Um, <laughs> Right, yeah, everyone else, because and I, and I, re I also dropped, uh, I dropped. Claydol. Uh, names. The, uh, no, uh, Gastrodon. I didn't bring oh. Gastrodon. So and now Gastrodon with Storm Drain, you know, completely absorbing water type attacks was like my main way of dealing mm -hmm. with water types, and I just kind of wanted to mix it up, so I didn't bring uh -huh. Gastrodon, and then, then you had Dracovish, and I was like, oh boy. So I had to figure out a way to to kind of maneuver around uh -huh. it. Um, because it's it's a very scary Pokemon, but yeah, bro. Okay, so I seen you do your live streams as the <laughs> gym leader, right? And I saw I was scared yeah. about like Trick Room, Claydol, or like some shenanigans like that. And then I saw Gastrodon as well being oh my gosh. And then so going back mm -hmm. to um, Komomo, right? I was yeah. so that's why I was taking a little while to prep for our battle. I was like. Okay, uh, I looked up this team. I was like, okay, all the ground types on Sword and Shield. Okay, the only one I should be really scared about is Flygon. And then I go into my PC box mm -hmm. and I'm like, hmm, out of all the dragons, Flygon, he will bring it. He will bring it because I have dragons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and then yeah, I was just like, course. what if he's, what if he choice scarfs his Flygon? Because I have mine choice banded. I was like, if he has a choice yeah. scarfed, um, um, what's it called? A Dracovish yeah. won't outspeed. It won't. And I, yeah. And, yeah. and then leading on to the first turn, right? The, the Komomo yeah. had Stealth Rock and, and then it had, I forgot what the other one was. The one, Dual, what was it called? Dual. Dual. Uh, uh, there breaking you go. Swipe. Breaking Swipe. Breaking so I knew this was a double, yeah. doubles format, right? So I was just like, yeah, okay, let yeah. me look at Komomo's moveset to see how much of a more valuable Pokemon he can be for this battle. And then I see Breaking Swipe, and I'm like, yo, I, I gotta bring it. It can't, it won't be a double battle if I don't bring that move in. And then it comes yeah. to the first turn, and I'm just like, no. Uh -huh. Okay, it's either I go for the Stealth Rock and go for Chip Damage, or I go for the yeah. Breaking Swipe. Yeah. And then hopefully one yeah. of my Pokemon survive. And then you, and then you come yeah. with the choice guard Draco Meteor. I'm just like mind blown. <laughs> I'm like, no way. I yeah. didn't think people run a special yeah. Flygon. I didn't know that was a theme. <laughs> yeah, it, it's got it. It works. It definitely works. I, I specifically was actually running that same Flygon with Boom Burst and Throat oh. Spray. So that was why the special. So you could get you can get it you can go for boom burst get a special attack boost but i decided to drop boom burst and throw uh -huh. the scarf on it I, I actually i i dropped boom burst a while back so when i was looking at the fly on in my pc uh -huh. and thinking about again going up against a bunch of dragon types i was like i can't let i i knew, I knew there was a possibility that one of your dragon types uh -huh. would be choice scarf so i was like all right i just i couldn't not do it and it, it definitely <laughs> definitely <saved laughs> I, I think I think Dracovish just wins <laughs> against ground types without without uh -huh. something like that, something faster than it, or Gastrodon mm -hmm. to absorb it. So it actually worked out really luckily for me because if I didn't have Choice Scarf, that battle well, would have been a completely been different thing. Yeah, I think Dracovish would have swept me as soon as <laughs> <he> came in. <laughs> and one <laughs> so, of the things that surprised you know. me is when it came to the item for um, Komomo, right? We did we couldn't use duplicate yeah. items, so originally I had leftovers on it, mm -hmm. right? But then I was just like, yeah. what other item can I give it? And coincidentally, I switched them off for my Haxorus, who had the Haban Berry. And I'm just like, I was like... I uh, yeah, that, I was not expecting that. Either. I was like, I oh, why don't I just use the Haban Berry? I mean, he only has one dragon move. <laughs> I, I doubt any of his Pokemon know Fairy. Yeah. So I was like, Haban, yeah. works. W Breaking Swipe. Boom! Yeah, and, yeah. 
so it, it yeah surviving the draco meteor because of the haban berry and then also surviving the ice punch because of the 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 attack drop was just like i was just like wow that was really cool that it worked out that way because it would have been like a double oko that first turn uh without the those two things happening so that was actually yeah that mm -hmm. was really really cool you don't see that move breaking swipe a lot but it's actually pretty cool and it lowering lowering attack mm -hmm. on both pokemon is definitely a, is a unique move with some cool mm -hmm. usage for sure but then yeah yeah and then and then i i even said it in my video I, when i switched out hippowdon i was like switching hippowdon i was like i want to get the sandstorm up because <laughs> i was thinking i might bring excadrill in i was like there's a good chance i was like he might target that spot and but i was like it's fine if hippowdon goes down in one shot and i like i called it i said it like as uh -huh. i was making the move and then exactly that happened exactly just bop just got bopped by uh uh, but I'm really glad I did that because then it allowed me, like I said, to bring back in Flygon without the uh -huh. special attack drops from the two first Draco meteors. And yeah, it was, uh, it, it worked the, out. The one thing I want to praise you on, and I, dude, this, this move was, the, the, the whole entire turn was just amazing. When you used Bodols on all your Pokemon, I was like, yeah, this guy's a genius. Trick rooms and then bulldozes his right period because he's a tank. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I'm there, yeah. that's it. I'm done. Yeah, I, I I can't take credit for that. I've I've seen other VGC competitive people uh -huh. do that strategy with actually. It's actually something people do with uh, dusk dusk uh, dusknor and uh, Rhyperior because dusknor gets bulldozed. So basically, you have it that yeah, before um at yeah. normal speeds the. Um, the, what's it called? The Runarigus is like one mm -hmm. or two points slower, or, or uh, yeah, slower so that it goes first in Trick Room. So that it goes first, it pops the weakness policy. It also makes Rhyperior slower, yeah. so it's even slower, in, which is faster in Trick Room. It's a really crazy strategy, and it's yeah, it, I love it. I love it. Once I figured that out, I was like, oh, that's a that's a really insane strategy. Because then you have then you have plus mm -hmm. two Rhyperior Dynamaxed. And it's the fastest thing uh -huh. in Trick Room. It's it's honestly it's really powerful. Uh -huh. It's really really hard to beat without without something like specifically made to counter it. So yeah, it, that's one of my mm -hmm. favorite things to do uh, with with Rhyperior. So <laughs> thank you, I appreciate the praise. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Kyogre Kawaii. You got any last words, buddy? Like any shameless plug or anything? Just. Think no, thank you guys for hanging out and watching both of our videos, hopefully. Watch my videos. Yes, watch check my video, guy out. Watch my side of the battle. <laughs> watch both sides. Yeah. I can't, I can't. Alrighty. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. And Kyogre, I'll catch y'all later. Alright? Have a good one, buddy. Alright. Peace.